George Bellavo, and I'm a faculty member in the Department of Language and Literacy Education. And my area of research and teaching is drama and theater education. So one of the areas of uh, service that I do in the department in terms of pedagogy is, is using drama as a form of both of teaching but also as a way of, of learning for students. So drama as a pedagogy has, uh, there's a whole spectrum of, of activities within it. It could be training theater teachers for secondary schools or theater teachers for elementary schools. But what I focus on, and with a number of graduate students, we focus on is, is drama as a way of learning across the curriculum. And what I mean specifically by that is thinking about ways of using drama as a, as a tool for learning, as an approach for learning, as a strategy for learning. So when we think of drama as a research methodology, again, there's traditional modes of, of drama in research that could be looking at productions, could be looking at particular performances. But when I think, when I speak to drama as a methodology, I'm talking about it as uh, what I call research-based theater. And that means that theater is used as a way to mobilize, to um, uh, bring to life some research phenomena, a research data. So often it's interviews that are brought to life through drama. So I often collaborate with a number of, of researchers across disciplines who have exciting data that they've published or they've mobilized in more traditional manners through journals, public presentations, and we take that data and working closely with the researchers and sometimes the participants who participated in the, the research context to develop, co-develop a theatre piece. So I'll give a specific example. One of my recent projects was working with counseling psychologists and military veterans where over the course of a number of years they had developed particular themes that veterans came home with after serving and some of them were finding it difficult to transition back to civilian life. So the theatre methodology enabled us to look at those narratives and to synthesize them in ways that we could show a public that these are some of the themes that have emerged out of veterans transitioning home. And the theatre piece brings to life that data but in a much more um, compact way. So instead of having interviews that might have been an hour with each veteran, the scene might last two and a half minutes. And then we weave those stories together and create a, a larger narrative of what it means to come home for military veterans. So I think drama inherently is a collaborative enterprise. You usually bring a team of people together to, to develop the piece. And then hopefully if the piece moves on or the project moves on to, um, to other communities, we then share our stories back to them, developing a, a, another level of, of community engagement. So I, I find that community is uh, not only a byproduct of, of drama work, but actually fundamental to drama work. I also do come from a theatre background. I trained as a, as a theatre artist and that experience as, a, as an actor, director, playwright, again, feeds into my pedagogy as much as it feeds into my, my practice as a, as a continuing researcher artist.